Good afternoon. This is Tom Asper with the Viper Report. It's Wednesday, June 26th. Market is just closing. Sort of a mixed day. Uh, all the averages started out pretty strong this morning, but the S&P closed down about 3.6. Dow down 11. NASDAQ gained a third of a percent. But of course, the NASDAQ was what was hit the hardest on Tuesday. In last weekend's article on Forbes.com, I pointed out that I was concerned that some investors and traders had made the conclusion that as long as rates were declining, stocks had to go up, and clearly that's not been the case on a historical basis. I pointed out some charts, this first one from 2000, you know, the yields topped out early in 2000, stock market kept going higher, the basis of the NASDAQ deposit for a couple more months, then both turned lower, and it was a pretty ugly decline, with the NASDAQ losing about 70%. In the latter part of 2001, yields kept declining as stocks fell. Similar situation in 2007-2008. Yields peaked in early July here with the S&P making an initial high and the AD line forming its first negative divergence. Then in October, S&P made a new high here at line B. Yields were already much lower, as was the AD line which warned of the bear market, and pretty much both declined into March of 2002. Though there has been some deterioration in some of the economic numbers, no signs yet of a bear market based the AD line analysis. It made a new high last week. You can read all about this in Forbes.com, which still points to higher prices. Of course, comments from the Fed Killed a strong opening on Tuesday and pushed stocks sharply lower. It was the worst day in June, particularly in the tech sector, which has hit quite hard. And quite a few people were too long going into Tuesday's open. They got hurt in particular and did get some messages that some were concerned about what the market was doing and whether my view had changed. As is often the case when the market sees a dramatic up or down move, I put out a special market update to both subscribers to the Viper Hot Stocks and the Viper ETF report. This is the report that was sent out this morning before the opening, looking at the chart of the QQQ, the NASDAQ 100 AD line, still positive and above support, and showing that the futures at that point before the opening were higher, and the on-balance volume here was leading prices higher. Both of those still favor that this decline will be well supported once it's over, but the close this week and a higher, strong close in, the, in Thursday or Friday will further support that view. I did have several new long recommendations for both stocks and ETFs on Monday, and uh, we'll be updating that Thursday before the market open. If you're interested in getting involved in the stock market this summer, I still think there'll be some excellent opportunities. If you're interested in ETFs, you can click on the ETF report at viperreport.com or stock traders should look at the Viper Hot Stocks report. Each is only $34.95 a month, includes six trading lessons, and can be canceled anytime online. Hope you have the great rest of the week, and I'll update you over the weekend. Thanks.